So the Ark has an amazing history and we've been around for over 65 years. At that time, doctors and society were, were really telling families to put their children in institutions and that they would be taken care of. Families came together and decided we want something different and better for our children. They began advocating for local and then regional and state funds to get things done. Um, one of their first accomplishments was to get money for special education in our public school system. They began to develop and build group homes and communities and things just started to roll, roll out from there, the 60s and 70s and 80s. There were uh, federal and state laws put in place that helped support those efforts. We started to build out things in our communities that would support children and adults at that time with intellectual and developmental disabilities. It used to be that it was assumed that if you had an intellectual or developmental disability, you needed people to make decisions for you. We know now, after much experience, that that's not the case. People need to be informed and need to be supported to make decisions, but they need to be engaged in making decisions about their own life. So probably the biggest um, change in the progression that I've seen is that inclusion of that person-centeredness and the self-direction that we now implement in, in, in almost everything that we do across the board. Humans can be uh, scared off by people who have differences. That happens to all of us, part of a nat natural part of being human. But to be able to teach people to engage and embrace folks who have all kinds of differences, whether it's an individual who has a developmental disability or something else, it serves to enrich our communities. It serves to help people be more included, fully included in the, the community and help them lead the life that they want to lead in the community. Inclusion is really about choice and it's about people choosing to be with other people and when we all get that and start including each other um, we will resolve a lot of the issues that we face today with folks with intellectual and developmental disabilities in figuring out how to live live the lives they want to live in our communities when we want to break down differences we include everybody We've learned that lesson over and over. People with intellectual and developmental disabilities have taught us that lesson over and over. The ARC in that way represents all of us and is one of the most inclusive organizations I've ever been engaged with or, or even aware of. We stand on the shoulders of all those families who came before us and helped develop those things. And now we, we have the obligation and the opportunity to take those things even further.